This video will be summarizing our DTM substation simulation, mapping, and test management functions as shown at Distributech 2019. Our Test Suite Pro demonstration will be shown in the video in the links in the description. DTM is our system simulation tool. We have created folders in our DTM workspace to organize our simulated devices by their functionality. Our substation folder includes line 1, line 2, transformers, and high voltage bus bar devices, and those devices can be seen here. Each device has scripts associated with it to allow it to behave as it would in a substation. Since many of our devices' logical nodes behave in a similar way, we have created global scripts seen here. These scripts are referred to by the devices in the substation folder. This speeds up the behavior simulation process. At Distributech, we also use our SCADA data gateway system on Linux as a data concentrator. For the sake of simplicity for this video, we are also simulating the SCADA data gateway's mapping and data concentration in DTM. This simulation is done in the SCADA HMI folder. The 61850 clients to the substation 61850 servers and the DMP3 outstations are stored here. The mapping between 61850 and DNP is done via this JavaScript. The final folder we'll be looking at today is the SCADA folder. This is the DNP master to the DNP outstation that is holding all of the data that was concentrated. Now that we've explained our substation, we can see a few of the features DTM can perform with them. The first feature that we'll be talking about today is a brand new feature that will be released with DTM 1.4. DTM now has a built-in test manager. This allows for running manual tests, automating test plans, reviewing functionality, and exporting results. For this video, we'll be showing off a test manager created to verify proper mapping in our gateway device. Each row in this window is a test. Specifically, for this video, it is a 61850 data attribute point change that will occur and the resulting DNB3 point that should be changed. You can edit these tests, reload your test changes, reset test results, skip selected tests, run selected tests, or run all tests. I'll be selecting a few tests to run. After selecting these tests, I will click run selected tests and watch them run. Once finished, I can group by results to see which tests were successful, which failed, and which have not been run. Once the test is finished, I can export the results as any of the options seen here. The last feature I'll be showing in this video is the single line diagrams demonstrating the behavior of devices in our substation. Our single line diagram was created using Insight, which can be used to build visual representations of devices you're simulating, including a single line diagram, device panels, and HMIs. With this single line diagram, we can create a temporary fault via PDIF1, PDIS1, and PDIS2. We're also able to cause permanent faults and breaker failure events. I'll show you all of these situations now. This button causes a failure on the line. As you can see, the breaker opened and then the recloser closed the breaker. Since the fault was cleared, the breaker remains closed. The switch next to this button causes the fault to become permanent. This will cause the breaker to open again after the recloser tells it to close. I'm going to close the breaker now. The last event we'll see is a breaker failure event. In this situation, the breaker will not open when it needs to. This will cause a goose message to be sent out to our other devices in the substation, causing the other breakers to open and stop the flow of electricity. These events will be used to demonstrate Test Suite Pro's ability to monitor a substation. For more information on Test Suite Pro's Distributech 2019 demo, check out the video in the description below. For more information on DTM, Test Suite Pro, any of our protocol stacks, or our test tools, feel free to contact us by following any of the contact information also in the description below. Thanks for watching.